video, we are going to talk about the different circuit boards inside the Asenware 4 Zones Conventional Fire Alarm Control Panel. The first circuit board is the power supply board where 220 volts to 250 volts AC input is connected to the input terminal. The AC supply passes to this electromagnetic interface board or also known as radio frequency interference or RFI to eliminate the signal disturbance generated by external source. This EMI board is protected with a 2 amperes fuse. The supply will be stepped down by the power transformer into a 35 volts AC output. The 35 volts AC output will then be passing to the rectifier board transforming 35 volts AC to 35 volts DC power supply for the system. The next board is the power circuit board. Part of this board is the 5 volts and 24 volts DC supply output socket. Just below the socket is the 3 amperes fuse protecting the circuit board. Another component of this power board is the battery switch to turn on the battery and battery charging. In between the battery switch and the relay, is the battery start button to turn on the system manually using battery source during power interruption. In this circuit board also is the relay to automatically transfer system supply to battery when AC supply is interrupted. This power board charges the two lead acid batteries so that during power interruption, these batteries are capable of running the system in standby mode for 10 hours. And lastly, the main switch to control the 35 volts input supply. Another board is the interface board where auxiliary contacts are located. At this portion are the zones normally open and normally closed contact terminals. Each zone has its own normally open and normally closed contact. These terminals are the input terminals for the sensor. And these terminals are the output terminals for the strobe light and horn. Beside the output terminals are the 24 volts DC auxiliary output terminals. The fire activated normally open and normally contact terminals and system fault normally open and normally closed terminals. And lastly are the internal relays for its zones. We have relay for zone 1, relay for zone 2, relay for zone 3, and the relay for zone 4. And just behind the front panel is the main control board. In this board is where the key control is connected to enable and disable the front panel buttons. It has also the panel buzzer in which it will be triggered when system fault occurs. And the panel buzzer master switch to enable and disable the buzzer. The system test push button. And lastly, the interface board, socket, and cable. The power board socket and cable. And the interface socket and communication cable.